Hi everyone, good morning. I strongly believe that children are a gift from God and every time there's an opportunity for a new child to come into this world, it's something to celebrate. So my friends will be having their baby shower. It's supposed to be a surprise baby shower and I have offered to give them cakes for the baby shower. The baby shower is later today so I have baked the cake uh, yesterday. I, I baked the cake yesterday, it's ready. So it's a vanilla and chocolate cake. And I just mix them all together, like marble them together. And so I've decided to decorate it with whipped cream usually I would like to do fondant I like to do fondant funny enough I've heard a lot of people talk about how fondant cakes are harder actually find fondant cakes easier and more straightforward reason being that I feel like in the long run fondant cakes are easier to manage but with uh, whipped cream slash buttercream cakes after decorating I have to put it in the fridge when the cake is going from the fridge to wherever it is is the final destination is you're always worried did they hit the cake they not hit the cake is it carried properly is it dropped is it raised up is it in the boot they put it in the box do you understand there's always so much worry but with fondant cakes as long as it's done packed properly, doiled properly, you're good to go. So the theme of the bridal shower, they said we should either wear pink or blue. So, because it's two ladies having their bridal shower, we're sure one is having a girl, but we're not sure what the other lady is having. So we decided to just do like blue and pink theme. What would it be? Like old baby kind of thing. That way, if the other person is having a girl, wonderful. If the other person is having a boy, it's also wonderful. So I will show you guys what I am going to wear. Tada! So this is my outfit of the day. So it's by BB's. I think I've spoken about BB's um, page on here, but I will leave the link to her page here. Dun, dun, dun. So when I went, obviously I would have to change my bra. So this is what it is looking like. I absolutely love it. I'll probably end up wearing a wig. I wish I could go like this. I I've been loving just using my natural hair lately. Oh. I'll leave your page tagged because this is just beautiful. Like this is my favorite part of the outfits, like this off shoulder-ish kind of look. And then obviously the cleavage area, the stomach area, like I truly love what the dress looks like. But you guys, it came up that they were like, okay, some people wear pink and some people wear blue. I was like, Pink, please, because I knew I had this beautiful pink number. But you guys, check out her page and let me know what you think. Any opportunity I get to like celebrate friends and family, I'm usually like front and center. So we have started our summer break. This one is here, giving me a headache. Come and say hi. Hi, hi. Are you done eating? Mm? Have you finished eating? I don't even know who this girl looks like. Who do you look like? Daddy. You look like your daddy, right? You don't look like me. <laughs> <laughs> so now you have seen the video and you are shy. Mm. What are you eating? You are eating pasta. Where do you want it from? Pasta. Downstairs. Okay. Are you ready to go and eat now? How to do the finish the video first. What do you want the video to be about? About cooking. Um, cake. Um, cake. Yes. So you want to join me to make the cake? Yes. Okay, no problem. Let's say bye, guys. Bye bye. Are you going with me to my office? Oh, yo, 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 yo. Okay, let's go. So I may we're making a ten inch and six inch cake. So it's like two tiers baby shower cake. So it's going to be pink and blue themed. The design I'm going to be using. This is the design I've decided to use for the cake. So I bought a few balls from the market 
gold, um, blue, and pink balls that we're going to be decorating the cake with. It's not very, it's not like a very serious design. It's a very simple design. So this is not the original board we're going to be using. This are the cakes. So this is the 10 inch cake and then this is the 6 inch cake. So it's a two tier cake like I said. This is the 10 inch and this is the 6 inch. So I'm going to just trim it slightly, turn it upside down and then start layering. Vanilla and chocolate. I want to fill it with caramel and custard cream. That's why I'm using whipped cream because I feel like I prefer cakes that are filled. And it's going to be like a small get-together. So I wanted something that was going to be eaten fast. If it was going to be like a big party, then I would do fondant. But let's trim this cake and start. It's taking so long. So every time I bake a cake, I wrap it up with cling film like this because when you wrap it up, it retains the moisture. If you see any stains on my hand, please, it's just color. So when you wrap it up, it retains moisture inside the cake so the cake doesn't get dry and then we stick it either in the fridge or outside this cake didn't go in the fridge it'll just be outside let me see Life. learn how to trim a cake a cake i have like a trimming video on this channel so check it out today i'm not going to be teaching you how to trim i'm just going to be trimming this cake and finishing it as fast as possible. This part of the cake is like the favorite of my kids and my workers. There's a winding road, no telling where it goes. Driving for okay. days and nights, don't stop for traffic lights. So for filling, I'm going to be using uh, caramel frosting. So it's just caramel. I made caramel and then whipped it. So caramel frosting and custard filling. It was time to trim and fill the smaller cake. Guys, while I was filling the smaller cake, I'm sure you can already see the big mistake I'm making. I forgot to seal the edge of the smaller cake with whipped cream. So basically, every filling I was putting inside the cake was running out of the cake. And the cake was collapsing, guys. I was running out of time because today was the day of the bridal shower. It was already getting late. I'm just frustrated like God. <laughs> How can I make such a mistake? Like, how do you forget to seal it? If you see when I made the bigger cake, at the edge of the cake, I put the whipped cream. When I put the filling in the middle of the cake, I put the, I put the whipped cream by the side of the edge of the cake, just to hold in the filling. So whatever filling you put in can stay. But because this was a smaller cake, I think it just skipped my mind. I was in a hurry. So I'm just like, God, what am I going to do? But anyways, I decided because it was a smaller cake, it was something that I could salvage. So what I ended up doing is I put door rods and uh, skewers inside the cake just to hold it and give it a little bit more support. And then proceeded to crumb coating the cake and put it in the fridge. So obviously when you put it in the fridge, the whipped cream will get a little bit harder and your fillings will also get a little bit harder so the cake will be stable and then I'll be able to just frost it and just continue guys I can't believe I forgot like I almost ruined this cake right now
in the, after crumb coating and um, putting it in the fridge the came came out cake came out perfectly and then it was time to just decorate it so i decided to do two different layers two different colors so the top layer was going to be blue and the bottom layer was going to be pink and it was supposed to be a watercolor i didn't just want like really bold colors because i don't think i'm such a fan of like bold colors especially on buttercream but guys this cake look absolutely beautiful let me know what you think in the comment section below So we had the bridal shower at Vita, at the new Vita Footy stand. It's along Airport Road. It's like a new, it's their new location, and it's so beautiful, so pretty, so visually appealing. And the, and obviously, it was time for our brides or our not our brides for our moms to just dance and have a good time. So their name is Itoha and Angela or It and Angie's, and I'm just happy because they enjoyed the shower. Best part about having like a shower like this was the fact that they took time we took time to pray for them i feel like that's something that usually doesn't happen in showers and i feel like it should be happening because having a baby is not like any it's not it's like life-changing for both the mother and the child and i feel like anything that's so serious and so life-changing has to be accompanied by prayers but i don't know what you guys think about praying in a baby shower let me know what you think. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord, for your but so far we had a good time we did a few tiktok videos and it was just it was just really it was just really fun and we had an amazing time thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye